How do you all do? It's Tino. I have an empty glass that I'm going to put some beer in. All right, so it is a glorious, magnificent Sunday afternoon. Uh, hopefully you're all well. <clears throat> and by you all, I mean it's basically just me right now. Uh, fabulous Sunday. Sunday, February, what do we got today? The 17th. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. Let's crack this bad boy open. Mm. Today we're going to start with Void in a can, as you can see. Unfortunately, the can has a bright green label, so uh, the chroma key situation is not a fan. It is not a fan. Mm -mm -mm. Um, basically, Bright is one of Treehouse's fabulous IPAs. Extremely fabulous. Um, it's a, a doble, double, a dipper. Uh, and this one is with Nelson. Nelson Hops Darunis. Who doesn't like a little Nelson Hops in their life, right? Hops, they're so yummy. Uh, Nelson and Amarillo, I think, are up there in my in my top five. Yeah, uh, it's Sunday, right? So Sunday, I think, first of all, is a great day for a delicious beer. Um, I've got my counterweight stemmed beer glass ready to go and it's also i think an excellent day to finish up with some dang ff9 um unfortunately had a couple of deaths in the family to start off this year um i would pour a little out but i don't want to pour any the, the you know the closest one to me was a huge craft beer drinker uh you know, close friend, uh, buddy of mine for a long time. So it was, it's, it's a shame, but, uh, cheers. This one goes out to you. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. That is so dang delicious. I believe I just got hosted. <laughs> Stadi, is that you? You rascally rascal. <clears throat> I hope it's you. If it is you, hello. If it's not you and it's just auto host, I'm still cool with that. Appreciate that anyway. All right. So let's crack uh, crack open some FF9 here. Super excited. We're basically like at the tail end of the game. Um, everyone is officially over level 60. Whee! That's fantastic. I've got most of the end game gear collected at this point. Not everything. A little work to do, but we are well on our way. <clears throat> I want to be able to hear that. There we go. Okay, um, so one of the things that's basically going to be happening right now is. Well, let me, let me throw a little context in here. First of all, like I said, we're on the tail end of the story, which I am just ridiculously excited for. Um, our next stop is we're going to fly right into the Battle of the Aoife Tree. It's the second battle of the Aoife Tree, if you're familiar with the story, which uh, I was not until I played through it this first time. And it's so much dang fun. Um, so the context, yes, I was going to give some context. That context is, behold, the purple sphere. Um, I have been playing this now for, my god, probably like four months, kind of on and off. Um, I dare say we seal the deal, huh? Yeah? With the help of beer. Mm. That is a nice one. All right. And uh, in we go. I have no idea what to expect. I've never made it this far in the game.
fly on the invincible limb, and there's a terrifying flock of heinous dragon seagulls. Oh, dear God. Dragon seagulls? I did not see that coming. Quick, throw some old fries out the window. Everybody's teaming up. Go team. Baku. <laughs> I forgot about Baku. The, uh, isn't he like the leader of Tantalus, so to speak? <clears throat> cool. I am super excited to see these cutscenes, though. Oh! Better watch out, Dragon Seagulls. General Beatrix! Oh no! <laughs> Don't panic! <laughs> I'm about to enter my island. Which is really the equivalent of saying, I'm about to kill myself. <clears throat> That's definitely what you want to hear your captain say. Nobody panic! <laughs> I'm gonna just end my own life. You'll all be fine. Yum. I have a couple of other delicious beers to put in between my IPA consumption. Because honestly, like, absolutely, like I said, I love the Treehouse IPAs, but... <clears throat> I said this in previous broadcasts. After a few in a row, man. Holy crap. Uh-oh, look at this thing. Hmm. Beware. How much damage does it do? It does like nothing! Ah! I'll frog drop you. I probably want to steal from the other dragon falls to the guess, right? Dragon wrist and a grand armor. Yes, I do want to steal. don't want to kill it. I actually need to sort of let it hang out. I don't need that remedy, that's for sure. Uh, so I can soul blade it. I'm disappointed because I did not set up any of my, like, stealing capabilities. Really disappointing. Sleep. Haha. <laughs> so we're going to try and get that that grand armor. Got the dragon wrist, nice. There's only one other thing I can steal. This is so awesome. While he sleeps, I can just steal away infinitely. Hey, go back to sleep. <clears throat> Uh huh. <laughs> Ultimate blade, so broken. So so broken in the in all the best ways, right? <clears throat> Couldn't steal anything. You're a liar. You're a liar. I'm calling you a liar. <clears throat> Come on. We might be here for a few turns in a row. Soul Blade. One more Soul Blade. Soul Blade. Soul Caliber 6. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And asleep you go. Sucker. Oh. Gotta remember to keep stealing and, and things, though. Gotta keep doing it. Come 
money. Come on, give me the dang grand armor. Oh, I did like no damage. I'll keep soul blading you. Go sleep once more. Sleep. Once, uh, once we're ready to kill it, though, let me tell you, I'm gonna kill it really quickly. I feel like I have a grand armor. Do I not? Oh yeah, you can synth it. I have totally synthed this stupid thing before, have I not? I don't need this. Go back to sleep. Back to sleep with you. Back, I say, back. Oop. Nope, sorry. I do kind of want to use your Elon. Alright, we Because why not? I might as well start chipping away. I really don't need the Grand Armor on, on further inspection. I have killed so many dragons. She does. She definitely does 9,999, which is amazing. They just keep stealing. Why the hell not? Hmm. Huh. Auto regen dude <laughs> is also just ludicrously broken. Did I kill it? Still can't steal shit. Dang it. Ash, dang it. Um, how about another dragon crest? Ooh, tidal wave. Mm mm. Scary. Another Elan. I think he's French, right? That's how you'd say it. Another Ellen. <laughs> I don't think that's how you'd say it. Rest of the dragon. Throw a little 10k at your face. Good job. Um, I don't think I need. Yep, you're dead. You're dead, and I win, and you lose. Ah. Yep. I am awesome. Float, that's what I'm talking about. Cool. Nice, alright, so we got some stuffs. Hmm. Hmm. Alrighty, we can warp about, apparently. Fantastic. Whoa. This place looks pretty crazy. You know what it reminds me of when you first get to... Oh, God. In, in um... Is it Dark Souls 1? First Dark Souls game? When you get to that big city? God, why can't I remember the name of it? It's been so long since I've played that. Those games were excellent. Hmm. Really excited for Sekiro. Uh... Shadows die twice. Garland. Uh oh. A place of memories. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You've no choice but to see the memories. Hmm. 
Farmers created this place. Fascinating. I don't know what the hell he's talking about either, bro. You don't know. I sure as hell don't know. Um, alright. Okay, so there are some strong recommendations in terms of not dying in here, so we're gonna do Devil Killer. Uh, let's see, so antibody, body temp, and locomotive. All highly recommended. Um, we'll lose the add status. No, not that one. We want this one. Alright, we'll lose the extra health in exchange for... And it... And nope, we don't want mud. We don't want mud because we don't want it to do any damage. <clears throat> um... That'll work for now. Okay, we're gonna lose a couple of HP ups here for a second. Motion. Oh, that's kinda cool. Uh... And body temp. Cool. A little devil killer on. Icing on the cake. What does this do? Raises the strength of chakra. Hmm. That basically means he heals better, eh? For add status. Why the hell not? Okay, that's also what he's doing for her. Motion. Antibody. Body temperature. What else do we want to throw in here? That's always nice. Okay. And then for you, lose the 10%. Body temp and antibody. What do we do to get the locomotion? I could lose the half MP just because frog drop is really like what I'm gonna use the most in here. Uh, yeah, and then we'll do this. And uh, meh. Anything else is even worth adding? Maybe millionaire. Why not get extra gill from this, huh? I'm telling you. Um, all right. Okay, so... I want to do the Nero Brothers thing. Can I leave? Oh, I can't leave, actually. Shit. So I missed one of the first checkpoints cutscenes or whatever the hell these are supposed to be. So there's this, like, ongoing quest that happens outside this dungeon. Oh. Hmm. Okay. And now we're going back to the principal. And then we need to go to the Tantalus hideout in Lindblom. This is really weird that I have to keep doing this, but here we are. And Lindblom is up here. And I believe it's in the theater district, if I'm not mistaken. It's where the Tantalus hideout is. This is really obnoxious that you have to do this like seven times or something stupid. Anyway, cheers.
I've done a lot to do as high a percentage of this game in the first playthrough as I could. Missed a couple of things, which sucks. But, is what it is. <clears throat> okay. This way. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yep. Is this the cutscene I needed to see? Did I need to go in here? the best we can do. <clears throat> Business district, and then we're gonna scoot out the front door. It's a strange creature sitting on the bench there. It looks like it's kind of like humanoid anteater with very short proboscis. Which is fancy for nose. Okay. Now I assume I just fly right back into the purple thing, right? Achievement though. Alright. Back out when here. Let's exit back out, but that doesn't estimate. Um, let's see. Game save! Hey! This is a PS1 game, and we know if you foolishly go too far, it's very likely that you'll die, and then have to redo all of that all over again. Uh -oh. oh yeah. Difficulty was some of the replay value. That was weird. You get, like, transported inside the thingy? Unexpected, to say the least. Whoa! Oh my god, what the hell is this thing? I like it, whatever it is. That did, like, no damage, though, so... And, eh. I'm kind of curious, I don't know how many times I've stolen, but this this skill basically will do four nines if you've done enough stealing. I'm kind of testing the waters here. Oh! <laughs> Not enough. That, I think that's saying that I've done it 155 times. So for him, it's going to be better to just attack. But now I know. Don't bother. 
I do want to keep Zidane in my party for some of this, though, because he's, uh... He's gonna help me avoid a, uh, a like, a missable piece of gear coming up. Oh. Damn, this thing has a lot of life. Hey, there it is. Nice. Dead. Get that? Killed you. Tetra Master. Path to reach a small outcrop. Where's the small outcrop? Where is it? So, uh, there's gonna be a weapon in here that drops for Zidane. Whoa! That's a sick looking enemy. That's gotta be an Iron Giant for this game, right? Woo! Oh, it missed. Ah! You suck. I'm gonna just keep stealing, frankly, because I think, like, almost everything in here drops something good. Pride Drop is such a powerful spell. And it costs like no MP. Oh, I dropped some frames? Sorry about that. I don't know why I had a little blip there. My PC has zero issues running this and very little trouble streaming. Since I did the rebuild. Oh, oh, this is the outcrop. Yes! Haha! What? Add status of mini. That's interesting. I already have I already have everything. Well gosh dang! <laughs> Say so keep Zidane in your party before going over here. Okay. So we want to make sure we have fire protection. Oh, you learned auto float, so let's slap. I have one other ribbon. Yes. All int elements by 50%. Very nice. Cool. Uh, do, do, do. Oh. Well, hello, sir. That is definitely a boss. Well, hello again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna soul blade him, and then we're gonna steal. <laughs> and he's asleep. Gotcha! This is so great. Steal. Ooh, Mass Immune right off the bat. Perfect. And we'll throw a little Mighty Guard on here just to give everybody some extra defensive. Stealing will resume.
Uh, hey, Genji armor, we got it. Perfect. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> so I can get another ultimate sword as well. Kill it. Kill it with fire. <clears throat> Couldn't steal anything. Aw, oh, man. Doing so much damage. It's awesome. <clears throat> when is dodge animation? It is absolutely phenomenal. It's just like, hmm. <laughs> Frog drop, I say. This will probably kill. Good stuff. I'm not really worried about the ultimate sword. Not really. How much health does this thing have? Jesus. <clears throat> A lot. Dead now? There it is. Alright. Hey. Yeah. Hey. It is over, and that's that's what happened. Final attack. Oh. That did some damage. Wowie. Putting out the fire, another achievement. Yes! Heck yeah! Um, alright. Uh, now it wants us to go back. So we have to run all the way back. <clears throat> Do I want to fight this thing? No. Flee! Run away! Not a big deal, we have plenty of HPs to defend ourselves. Plenty of up, up, pep, pep. peps. Pep the pep. Lenny the pep. Now one of these dang screens is gonna give me a way to teleport back, right? On this screen, maybe? Yes. Good shit. Uh, Amaranth, Freya, Quinn. Alright. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to do this. We're <laughs> gonna have to do this a few times. But the good news is you get something really nice out of it. You get another Protect Ring, which... <clears throat> um, you can get them a couple of different ways, but, you know, this is fairly, so why not? So why the heck not? That's what I ask you. <clears throat> in here, and then we're gonna hop on the trolley, the air shuttle, the theater district. Ah, yes, to the theater. Go 
And finally, hey, all right. Zanero and Benero. Better send Janeiro. What the heck? <laughs> <clears throat> I like it. So it's supposed to be scene three. Unfortunately for me, it's only scene two. Heft it up. It's supposed to go there before I even went into Memoria. To the business district, yes. To conduct my very many businesses. Much. This is the only business I care about. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. In the words of the Toon Yards, what's the business? Yeah. Don't take my life away. Don't take my life away. I'm a victim. Yeah. Okay. Some of this. All right. And back to the Ifa tree, aka Memoria. And then we have to run all the way across those screens again. And then we have to teleport back and do it again and again and again. <clears throat> okay. Absolutely saving my game. You jump in the bubble, and then the bubble just, like, blasts you into a telecolor, technicolor spray up to the sky. It's a very confusing process. God, I just love the artwork. Like, it's just so brilliantly done. I'm excited to see there's basically this like community project going on right now where they're um, upscaling the pre-rendered backgrounds using AI and I think that's exactly the article title oh look at this guy I have not killed him yet and therefore he must die also we're gonna steal from him ouchie a tent is all you got really Dude, this has, like, the most inappropriate hand position. Like, this one is fine enough, but this one? <laughs> Actually, it's kind of like this. He's like, hmm. <laughs> this one is for holy purposes, this one is not. That's not all I have to say. You guys know I'm not going to be able to stop talking about it. Okay, very nice. Alright. Hmm, what is Alexandria doing here? Whoa, what the heck? You don't have any memories. to defy me. Must be Garland, narrating from beyond the grave. Give me this. An Angel Flute. We'll save. Or not.
Now I have to walk all the way back. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> if you guessed walk all the way back to the beginning screen, you were right. I think at some point we're gonna get to another spot that, like, lets us teleport back a little bit closer to where we are, but... Fortunately, we're not there, so we have like four or five screens to run across every time. And I think I'm gonna kill this guy. Drop the hammer. So it's like 13k between the two of them, and 999 from Freya, 8k-ish from him. <clears throat> gotcha. It seems like the Iron Giant actually has like the lowest health amount out of some of the monsters I'm fighting, which is weird. Weird that that sort of goat flying guy had more health. <clears throat> And I guess I'd sort of expect the, uh, like, big-ass Chimera thing to be pretty hardy. This guy! Might as well kill it, right? Why not? It's gonna trigger some trances. <laughs> Trance. Oh, it missed. Yes. I'd love to actually get a trance during, like, a boss fight. How crazy would that be? Wouldn't that be crazy? Oh my god. This is the one game where I have never been able to make that happen. FF7, it's so easy to just save your full limit bar for a boss fight. <clears throat> In this game, it's just... Totally arbitrary. And it's like right now, of course, is like the best time for me to get trances because there's all these difficult boss fights coming up and stuff. Easier said than done. Yes, please. Come on, you know the party composition I'm doing here. <clears throat> I just wish this didn't ask me to do that every single time. That would be really super. How would you, like, what blows my mind about this stuff is like, how would you ever know to do this playing the game casually? Like, how the hell would you ever stumble upon this? Oh, you know what? I'm right in the middle of the endgame sequence. It's weird that it lets me go back to the Invincible. Why didn't I fly all the way back to one of the earliest areas of the game, run to a very specific part of that map, and trigger the scene multiple times, a minimum of seven over the course of the final dungeon? Nonsense. I'm calling bullshit on that. Nobody would be able to figure that out. Maybe not nobody, but a scarce few would invest the time to figure out that kind of stuff. Maybe that's the beer talking. <laughs> Alright, well, let's uh, slow down the action of the final dungeon and uh, head all the way back to Limblum. Perfect. There we go. Zanero, Benero, and Janero. Yeah, you better send Danero. Older brother, Robert. Robert Danero. No, come on. Why did I go back through stupid stupidness? Okay, up here we go. <clears throat> what is happening? <laughs> 
you see that he was just like me oh you want to yeah I'll go over here yep we did get the angel flute pretty cool it goes best flute Equip it on her just because I can. Beep, boop, beep. The angel flute. Great. And swap you out immediately. <laughs> Have the flute. Get the fuck out of here. For this to be number four, but it's actually number three. I gotta subtract one every time I do this. It's kind of hard to keep track of, unfortunately. that we have to go all the way through all of this over and over again. I guess I need the XP though, so it's not the worst thing. No, we don't need to take Just do that thing. You say that's kind of scary. <clears throat> I feel like this thing does not need any more attack power. Big, big arms, right? Plenty of muscle. <clears throat> Progress. Angel flute. Totally gonna save again. No, actually, we're gonna tent first, and then we're gonna. Save. It's kind of hilarious to me that they would put a tent like right in the middle. All right, now we're gonna save. <clears throat> It takes like five or six minutes to run all the way back in. And then all the way back in. Each time I have to do this, really obnoxious. Okay. Next screen, and then we should see the scene here. So that short scene is enough for me to be able to go all the way back. <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> Where is the exit spell when you need it? Like, one of the best things about the earlier Final Fantasy games is when you had to do this nonsense, you just opened up your white magic user's menu and... A little exit 
and you're in business or out of business, whichever you prefer. All right, one sec, I gotta run to the restroom. Be right back. All right, <clears throat> I return triumphant, and next on the menu, um, East Rock Brewery. Let me put this up a little closer to the camera here so you can see the label. Their fabulous Vienna. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, I can't keep doing, like, IPA after IPA. I can't do th three stouts in a row. Um, well, let me be careful. Let me qualify that properly. <clears throat> I'm physically capable of drinking them. Duh. But there's, a, uh, there's an enjoyment factor that's very important. And, you know, every Treehouse beer that you drink is, like, so good. You know, you shouldn't slam five of them in a row. Or if you do, you know, pace yourself a bit, right? Take a minute, savor each one. And then what I like to do is uh, in between, in betwixt,
Out cleansed. Mm -mm -mm. Boom. Uh, it goes the dynamite, one might say. <clears throat> okay, give me 30 quick seconds. Um, I will be right back. All right. <clears throat> so like I was saying, I don't have a bottle opener right here, but you can use a uh, standard lighter if you do this sort of pistol grip technique. Basically, if you put, you know, the lighter like that, and then you push down here, basically I'm using this knuckle to like put as much force underneath this, and then you just go, <clears throat> so like I was saying, <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's like an amber almost. Ooh la la. Whoa, look at that. I did not expect this to be nearly that dark in color. <laughs> Cheers to my homies at East Rock. My God. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. I like that a lot. Yum. All right. So where were we? We were in the middle of Final Fantasy IX. That's where we were. <clears throat> Uh, we'll keep stealing. I'm just throwing steals in here with Zidane because, frankly, every steal I do increases the damage of his thievery ability, so... Keep it rocking and rolling. this thing to give a vaccine. Not that I'm complaining. <clears throat> just keep stealing with Zidane. Literally, I should just always steal with him until I need to do damage. Definitely did not birth uh, Bertha. Did not Bertha. Did not bother learning all of the uh, blue magics for Quinna. <sighs> Couple, all right, couple of reasons. Number one, it's a bit of a pain in the ass once you get past a certain level. Um, number two, meh. You know, I've got all the ones that really matter. <clears throat> got all the good ones, like Mighty Breath. Come on, or Mighty Guard rather. I combined Bad Breath and Mighty Guard. Uh, Mighty Guard, definitely you don't ever want to miss. Bad Breath is phenomenal. Um, probably two of my favorite abilities in the whole game. Uh, and then, you know, killer healing stat stuff, like uh, <clears throat> White Wind in this game is excellent. In FF7, White Wind was excellent too. But it's, I think it's even better in this one. Well, you know, maybe you argue in the other direction. In this one, it does a little more healing. In the other game, it also did status ailments. Um, Mighty Guard is also excellent in this game. Honestly, in FF7, the enemy skills were so fucking heinously good. <clears throat> it was really overpowered. I think they toned it down in subsequent games because they were just like, Ugh. Hey guys, you remember? Did those enemy skills? 
People were breaking the game. Theater district, here we go. Mm. Wow. That is delicious. Um, so East Rock is a brewery in New Haven. Um, there's a very big hunk of rock sticking out of the middle of the uh, earth right near, uh, sort of on the East Haven line. New Haven, sort of East Haven area. That's where East Rock comes from. Whoa! Banero. Zanero, Banero, Genero. So I'm at five. You should go take a look, I agree. Okay. I kid you not, that's literally all I need to do. Just get all the way back out here and then run all the way back into... I'm still really pissed at myself for missing the, like, unique items at, uh, at the auction. Like, Doga's Artifact and that other stuff, so I can't get the magical fingertip. I also forgot to unequip Cinna, um, unequip his hammer before he was gone, which would have given me a second tin armor in the game. But uh, you live, you learn. <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. That's how video games roll. Alright, let's fly all the way back to the Aoife tree and go back inside to Memoria. Shit. <clears throat> back here, which hand was, but it is. Uh. Snap. Oh man, we're getting real close to uh, Amaranth's ultimate weapon. It's <clears throat> Amaranth. Big Amaranth fan. Um, didn't understand him way back in the day. So, like, I, I'll i give you a, a little bit of backstory on my Final Fantasy IX playing. Um, played for a long time. A uh, long time recently. Oh, that sucks. Um. <clears throat> um. So I, I, you know, I've thrown sixty hours into it recently. But way back in the day, I actually never owned this game personally. I had a friend who played it, and it was very cool to watch him play. But you know, when we had the game, dude, we were ten and eleven years old. Oh my god. That Vienna from East Track tastes almost like the uh, Abita Amber. Which is delicious, delicious beer. So we go over this way, back up this way, into this next room. And then when I'm in here, across the bridge to the right. There's a scene. What the heck? Uh oh. <clears throat> okay. Alright, I have bad news, everyone. <laughs> I 
I have to go all the way back again. fight a couple of monsters on the way. Maybe, maybe not. The uh, music in this zone. Fascinating. I feel like this should be... You know, the background music when you're, like, in church. Like, when there isn't, you know, one of those obnoxious, uh, ridiculous songs being played. Here we go. Back to the Invincible. Cool. Alright. All the way back we go. <laughs> Oi! Oi vey! to the theater district. <clears throat> and this will be the fifth one, I think. Not the sixth one. It would be the sixth one if I had done this properly. And then after the seventh... I think it's seven total, and then I will... I'll complete the quest. And then I won't have to do it. So I'll stop bothering. But until that point, we just gotta keep... Chugging along here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's a little heart now when he says it. That's fascinating. I get it though. The Nero brothers. But he's got Nero at the end of their name. It all makes sense now. Hmm. This is a fascinating size can, uh, size bottle that they put this in. One point nine pints, fluid ounces of beer. <laughs> it actually says that on the side. It says one pint. Point nine, and then it says fluid ounces at. That is obnoxious. So what is it? Are we measuring in pints and things, or are we measuring in fluid ounces? How many ounces are in a pint? I don't know. Sixteen, I think, right? So it's it's almost another pint on top of that. Like I don't know. What, what is math when it comes to volume and customary measurement? <clears throat> Listen, I'm American, but I do understand why people like the metric system. Right, we're used to, we're used to miles, right? We're used to all that shit, but frankly, tens and hundreds and the uniformity of it, way easier to just do the but it can do like 10. Oh boy. <clears throat> I mean, we're still trucking along here. This having to backtrack every time is just the most obnoxious baloney. 
I cannot wait till I finish this and I don't have to do this over and over. Look at this, it's literally five minutes for the round trip. Or longer. Almost six. Maybe just five. I'm mad, dang it. Okay, and then up the stairs in this next room. A new scene. Interesting. Uh oh. Garland! Accept everything. It says, hmm. I'm pretty accepting. Room claws. Heck yeah! Hey. All right, so that was the sixth scene. Okay. Guess what? Run all the fucking way. In case you were curious. This is definitely the worst part about it. Plus, I got up and I broke the seal. It means I might have to pee again. Five minutes. Actually, I have to pee right now. Hold it. I'm gonna hold it until I get back. Hey, we're almost there. <clears throat> Next screen. Thank you, Jesus. My characters are getting pretty high level though. Zidane is like almost level eight. Um, I think, I think Zidane. Was it Zidane and then? I don't know. Amrant is starting to get up there. Um, we've now left uh, Freya, Echo, and Dagger. I'm uh, not Freya. Steiner, Echo, and Dagger down near the uh, the lower ranks in terms of overall level. Steiner I kept up with, kept up with for a little bit. I may still use... I don't know. Side, side. But Steiner right now, you don't have a guarantee of him doing 9999 in terms of damage. Whereas with Freya and Quina, it's guaranteed. And Amaranth just has so much utility besides that. He's got auto life and regen in one ability. He's got an HP MP heal. He's got revive. Um, and he does a shitload of damage. So, you know what I mean? Like, he's also able to do like over 7,500 damage a hit. Here we go. Zanera. Oh my god, no! Yeah, you should go. Great! Get out of my sight. Stop wasting my time. Yeah. <clears throat> Vaguely inappropriate. Tiniest bit of sorry. Not really sorry. Only a little. Alright, I'm really sorry. <clears throat> And here I go. Alright, good news. That was 
scene number seven, which means I've gotten six checkpoints. I was able to get uh, the rune claws. Um, and then we've got an upcoming boss fight. Oh boy! is only really going to affect... It doesn't even have loud mouth as an ability. Um, so Quinn, I think, is the only one who can really even equip loud mouth. Hmm. Alright. One sec. Tripped a little bit. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I did one of these, but I sure did. Okay. Um, where are we at here? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Running all the way back for the 90 bajillionth time. Infinity Quintillion. <clears throat> it is what it is. We're finally in basically like the last part of the game. So I'm super excited. But there's a very annoying side quest that runs along with it. And that's what I'm doing right now. That's a damn. Meh. <laughs> Insta kills the game, but really not that big of a deal. Honestly, Zidane almost does like the least amount of damage. Which is kind of hilarious. Because <clears throat> he's by far and away the highest level person in my party. As you can see, by a significant degree, by a margin of like 15 levels for most. <clears throat> I don't, I don't need to heal. It's not really worth it. <clears throat> There'll be a save point up ahead and then I can 
uh, tent and then save and then resume the never ending fight. I think I have body temp equipped on it. If I'm not mistaken. Right. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I am so sorry. Okay. Didn't save point. Ten. Check. Saving the game. Also check. Here we go. Nope. Slide five. Why would I go to slide five? That's doesn't make any sense. Alright, my super paranoia double save file, good to go. progress. Almost there. Okay, and I've got wind protection already. Hey! Battle time. Okay. Whoa, defeated Mel Iris, I sure have. Hmm. So this is pretty fantastic. I can just once again sleep them, apparently. So let's see if this works. Whoop! <laughs> yes, good, good. And now we can just steal things. Blood sword, good. That's the common. Grand Helm, that's the rare. We've already got it, so that's fantastic. Okay. Okay. Go back to sleep, sir. <clears throat> and I can steal Feather Boots as well. So, I mean, why the heck not, right? Is what I'm thinking. Show me Feather Boots, done. All right, now we're gonna kill it. Boom. Big damage coming up. phasing out of existence here. I don't know why that's happening. It's the uh, chroma key on my webcam. For some reason, just like freaking out a bit. Absorb magic? Uh-oh. What does that even do? <clears throat> Doesn't matter. Frog drop is going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Everything does ridiculous damage. Take that! That does not do ridiculous. But I think that's because... Yeah, uh, I think it's because he's still only like level 60-something. He's like 99, he'll do tremendous damage. Right now, Freya and Quinna are actually my two highest DPS characters. Which is kind of funny. Plugging away. Ah, uh, yeah, another blue. <clears throat> Zidane with the 54, that's pretty solid. Can't complain about that. Hey! D E D. Got the blood sword and the grand helmet, so that's good shit. Hey, Gone with the Winds. That's a hilarious achievement name. Okay, unfortunately... 
<sighs> Gotta run all the way back again. And I think I have to do it one last time after this one as well. That's absolutely tent and save. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm just so used to PlayStation 1 era rules where if you don't tent and save every freaking chance you have, the game is just like, hmm. Perhaps those are your pants I see around your ankles, and you're in trouble. Whoa, Roy Jones, what's going on, homie? Uh, welcome to the stream, first of all. Um, second of all, kind of. It's not a grind. There's a, there's a quest going on at the same time as the final dungeon. So essentially what's happening is I'm killing the things that I encounter because why not? Right? Uh, might as well get the XP, so on and so forth. But I have to go all the way back to Lindblum in between cutscenes here uh, in order to complete a specific event, and that's going to give me an extra piece of equipment, specifically a protect ring, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> oh yeah. And it's not like getting a protect ring is really that difficult, but there's only a few in the game, so it's like, why not? Why not get that sweet, sweet 50% resist all? Also, cheers. I don't know if you're a beer drinker, but I've got a delicious amber lager that I'm sipping. sipping. Ribbon. Mm. I have three ribbon. Three ribbons so far. I have a trio. Uno, dos, tres. Uh, but I don't have... I think you can have four. I think? I think you can have four. I don't have four. Unfortunately. How you doing on this fabulous Sunday, dude? Welcome. Welcome. Uh, curious to know, also, are you, uh, from the States? Are you from overseas? Uh, it's all relative, so... EU? Awesome. Uh... I have a, uh, a couple of co-patriots in Spain. Uh, my sister lives in London. I have a twin sister. Yep, there's a, there's a female version of me somewhere out there. <clears throat> More like Eastern EU? Oh, awesome! So I work very closely, um, I don't work with him anymore, but for for a good th uh, three or four years of my life, I worked with a guy named uh, Vedran Tomic. Uh, Tomic? Vedran Tomic? Something like that? Uh, really, really good guy. Excellent SEO. Super brilliant fellow. If I'm not mistaken, he's from originally from Bosnia? Oh god, if I get that wrong, he's gonna annihilate me. Estonia! Oh, that's awesome. I also have some close family friends who are from uh, Latvia originally, uh, which is kind of random and fun. They uh, they moved to the Qu uh, Montreal, I think Montreal area in Canada. <clears throat> so the Latvians moved to Canada, and then every summer they would come down to Maine in the United States, and uh, we would meet them for vacations in the summer. So there's like three three layers of country in there. <laughs> Sounds nice. Thanks, man. Yeah, good stuff, dude. I'm not uh, I'm not much of a traveler just yet, but I would love to go see uh, some of that area. Genera. Oh my gosh. I'm not doing the platinum trophy. I'm just trying to. So I'm playing it on Steam. Um, oh no, I just double walked into that area. What I'm trying to kind of do is... 
I, you can't really 100% the game in a single playthrough, but... I'm trying to, like, do as much of the game as possible in one shot. And to that end, I dare say I've been fairly successful so far. So far, so good, homie. Mm. Also helps when you can lubricate a bit here. It makes some of the, like, grindiness. Uh, not necessarily. I am a... I'm a variety gamer. A uh, variety streamer, I guess you could also say. Um, I love Final Fantasy games, so I've played through uh, all of FF10, and then uh, the folks that were watching me play FF10 uh, wanted me to check out some of the other FF games, so I'm playing 9. Um, I played a ton of FF7 back in the day. I may check out 8, we're still, still debating that, not really sure. But I play some contemporary stuff, played lots of Monster Hunter. Um, I played just about everything, right? I've been around for a long time, I've played lots and lots of games. I've been you know, playing video games for almost three decades. So, I've been around. Been around the video game block, and I just love to play... Just love to, I just love to relax and play video games. That's kind of my sort of chill sauce, as they will say. So I figured, why the hell not stream and share those experiences with other people that like video games? Such as yourself, Roy Jones, from the Estonia area, killing it in the eastern part of the European Union. The European Onion. Eh? Eh? We will die, is it? Oh, it's Quina. Uh, keep stealing. Keep on stealing. I love Ara Man, he's like one of my favorite enemies. He's in like every Final Fantasy game. Very, very classic. Would you consider yourself a Final Fantasy IX player? What kind of games do you like to play? Like, don't get me wrong, I like I like talking about myself as much as the next guy. But tell me a little bit about you. Talk about you. You, the viewer. Do you like Final Fantasy IX? Would you rather I turn this off immediately and play something else? Ah, same here. I have never done an Excalibur 2 run myself. Is it worth it? I don't know, I feel like... 4,000 hours? Holy crap, dude. <laughs> nice! Oh my god, so I'm in the presence of a Final Fantasy god. I didn't realize. That's that's more than 40 times my commitment. I've, I think I played like 100 hours on, on FFX total. 4,000 hours. You are just an incredible, incredible player of the Final Fantasy. Mm. Do you write that on, like, a resume? Like, if you're applying to a job, do you just say 4,000 hours on Final Fantasy and they hire you for whatever the hell you want? So, like, platinumed it four times? Dude, bro. What an achievement. <laughs> You gotta brag about that more. I am, I am jealous. I, I have not yet 100 percent of it. Um, I've gotten close though. I just did a run where I got all the celestial weapons, and uh, my characters, I dare say, were uh, pretty sweet. They were looking fierce. Okay, we gotta be getting close. Without macros, yeah. Yep. Yeah, only once before 
<clears throat> have I done the grind to... I, I, the game I just did, I literally... The only time in any, any of my playthroughs have I ever filled out the sphere grid. But it turns out you can get even more aggressive than that. You can go back over the sphere grid and overwrite them and sub in like the four point nodes and you can get 255 to all stats. That is an incredible achievement, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, except for luck, right? You have to do a very specific route to get... Um, or you just grind... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, you know what I'm talking about. Exactly, dude. <clears throat> god, I love Final Fantasy games. I've... So, I got hooked on... FF7, um, and then I had a close friend growing up who played 8 and 9. Um, he also bought 10, I borrowed 10 from him, he and I played the bejesus out of that. Um, he played 11, I just watched 11, I didn't really play any of it. Um, I played 12, I love 12, I've played through it fully twice, really, really excellent game. I have all three 13s. Um, I played 14 for a little bit, which was great, and uh, I love 15. Love it. Grind luck to 180 minimum. Crit hit everything. Wow. Oh. That's pretty cool. So you can skip accuracy and evasion and instead go luck. That's really cool. I didn't even think about that. I can't even think about how much, uh, luck it requires. Yeah, you don't need 255, you just need a certain amount of strength. Ah, with the crit factor. Dude, that is so cool, holy shit. I wish I had your knowledge when I was playing through. <laughs> I would have done that, like, I would have done it the right way. <clears throat> Have you figured out, like, the right, like, um, that's the hard one, is it? Yeah, that's fair. What would you consider the easy way, then? Yeah, so I, I did, basically, I was able to get, like, five or six stats on every character maxed to 255, and then the rest of them are decently high. <clears throat> Something like that. Mm. I am so happy to meet another, you know, kindred spirit in terms of Final Fantasy love. Yeah, Riku is... Riku is amazing. Okay, so let me be honest with you, Roy. Roy Jones, I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be totally transparent with you. When I played FF10 back in the day, right? So we're talking PlayStation 2, we're talking early 2000s, right when the game came out. Maybe late 90s, was it 99 or 2000, something like that. Uh, I thought Riku was the worst character in the game, so I literally did not play her at all in my original playthrough of the game. Stairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, who have I found? Some kind of card master, apparently. Interesting. Easy way is definitely to play Riku. She is ludicrously good. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this strange goat man. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry, I got run.
Bam! Until you get to Penance. So I still have never beaten Penance. Um, I tried it once and it annihilated me. And yes, every single character had quick hit and it's my favorite ability in the entire game. No question. <clears throat> that is like stupidly broken. I'm waiting to see another scene here. Come on, where's the scene? Here we go. <clears throat> Quick hit, 180 luck, 180 strength. 99, 999. All five of them. Of Gaia being assimilated by Terra. Hmm. Uh. Oh god. Alright, bad news. <laughs> and we're gonna run all the fucking way back. God damn it, this shit is so obnoxious. Sorry, it's just like... Really frustrating. So there should be no more after this. I think this is the last one. Whoop. Crit with his celestial lep. Yep. <clears throat> the celestial weapons, man. It's so good. I also, dude, and, and I'll say this again about FF10. Um, back in the day, I also thought Kamari was terrible, and it just, he's only terrible, Kimari is only bad in the very, like, early part of the game. Once you take him around the sphere grid, he's just as good as anybody. <clears throat> You're absolutely right, though, his skills are garbage. But that's why you just get him quick hit. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, no, I can't argue with that at all. You are 100% correct. Just keep stealing. I don't want to miss out on fantasticness. As you can see, there's some sun streaming in from the window over here. Wakatitis Riku. Wakatitis Riku? Sorry. I don't know why I always say his name that way. I've got a friend who poisoned my mind at a young age, and I can't stop saying it that way. Yeah, uh, Titus has a bunch of them that are multi-hit. Waka has the attack reels, which you said before. What's the multi-hit for Riku? I don't even remember. Some kind of combine. <clears throat> or you mix, rather, right? Because that's her overdrive. I don't know what you mix to get the multi-hits, though. This is news. I might have to try this. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah ha. Yeah, yeah. Mixed combo's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and save. And, and save. Oh my gosh. That Vienna Lager. So good. My goodness. Are you a uh, beer drinker? Or a spirit drinker or anything like that? Or are you a teetotaler? Are you not a drinker whatsoever? Which, uh, believe me, I understand all approaches. I understand both sides of the coin. Ooh. Whiskey, he says. Or she says, I don't want to assume your gender, but I saw Roy Jones, so I thought you were a dude. What is your whiskey of choice, my friend? I do get down on whiskey every once in a while. I 
do get down on whiskey. Um, I'm in the U.S., obviously, you can tell by my uh, American speaking. <laughs> English speaking. <clears throat> you don't have a favorite? Cool. Nice. I have several favorites, too. You like scotch over bourbon? You know what? I like... I'm trying to warm up the scotch a bit. I'm starting to appreciate it. I can't really say that I like it yet, because I don't necessarily like it, but I understand it better. I understand it better. In terms of whiskeys, I, I'm a big fan of... Um... Knob Creek, Bullet, uh, Woodford Brothers. Woodford Brothers in particular, I think, is my favorite. Love Woodford Brothers. Uh, and then I do like uh, Gentleman Jack. If I'm going to drink some Jack Daniels, it's going to be Gentleman Jack. Ooh! Ah, yes! Dude, Freya just learned Long Range. Oh, she might have learned it. Did she learn everything? Yes. Fan freaking tastic. <clears throat> Got some really good gear going around here. Mm -mm. I'd love to have that HP plus 20 again, though. Okay, so we've got an upcoming boss fight soon. couple of friends that are looking at some PS4 games with me. Um, I saw the trailer for Anthem, and I, I said to myself, ooh, that might be pretty cool. And apparently it's got mediocre um, early feedback, which is kind of disappointing, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, God. So we're very close to never having to do this stupid run all the way back again. Close. Close. So close, but so far. Why do we have to do this every time? <laughs> you know which party I'm going to pick, Final Fantasy. Too far. Thread the needle. Thread that needle. This glorious glow. Alright, we're coming in hot and fast. Big money. Oop, a little too hot. A little too fast. Too fast, too furious. Alright, so let's go up yonder. This honestly, this might even be the last scene. I'm just not sure. May have lost count. It's either the last or it's the second last. I'm really hopeful though. <laughs> I don't wanna have to do that again. I just wanna go finish the last dungeon. For God's sake. I just want to f*** it. I don't want my man Roy Jones here to be bored out of his skull. Hey! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this will be eight.
Was that not the last one? Ugh. No. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. There's got to be a closer way to warp. There's got to be a closer way, right? Please? Please. I'm actually starting to lose my patience a little bit with this. Alright, and this sunlight is getting me a bit. There we go. It's a little better. It's not it's not perfect, but it's better. Okay, no problem, man. Uh, thanks for stopping by, dude. It was good to see you. Uh, just drop me a follow if you want to hang out sometime. I'll be I'll be around. I'll be streaming for a bit. Uh, come back another time. Good to meet you, dude. Good stuff. Happy Final Fantasy. Have some Final Fantasy dreams. <laughs> that actually came out weirder than I thought it would. Sorry. So we're going to Memoria. No, I'm not going to do it. Save a little further up. Per the huge. Nope. Got suckered again. Honestly, I may just flee. I'm getting a little tired of this thing. Not good. <laughs> Run away! Good stuff. my own fault for not running there. What happens? You get in two fights and uh, you're asking for it. Ooh, back attack. He immediately gets the roulette. <laughs> you son of a gun. And it's fucking Quinna. Every time it's Quinna. And Zidane one-shots it. Come on. That is some nonsense. sort of later maps are much shorter. It's like the earlier maps that seem to be the longest. It's weird. Mm -mm. Okay, save the game. that action. Let's go yonder. Oh my god. So many random battles. Uh, 
Um, this time I'm gonna take this guy out, just because he's... This is not a particularly difficult fight. <clears throat> Might as well get the extra XP and such. Since he's not gonna, like, kill anybody. <laughs> I have no idea what that yellow shit is about, but uh, I'm not going to complain. Dragon's Crest, ho! Honestly, those are all, like, really excellent items to get. Sapphire, I'm not complaining about. Okay. Fight Stilva. Why would I want to Stilva? I don't want to fight Stilva. Maybe because it's an FF7 monster? Okay, then we're gonna come up against another fight. He's got return, but sure as hell is not equipped. Cool. All right. <laughs> Last fight? No. Nope. 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 This is just a normal fight. Oh yeah. that I just disabled. Well, that's super disappointing. Shex. Shex. Okay, a little frog drop action. Good. I think he still... I think he still gets XP? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Oop, good. Alright. Whoop! Oh, come on now. Definitely gonna attempt. 
And then I think in this room, we're gonna find our next feller. Our next boss fight. Cool. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Making some serious progress in this game today. <clears throat> I did a little bit of farming earlier, which is super. Alright, one sec. I will be back post haste and just get a little more aqua. All right, and our triumphant return. Clean this bad boy up. <laughs> oh, 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 it's so chilly. It's in my sleeve. I suppose they deserve that. Okay, so let's see here. <clears throat> Long train running. We've been live for about two hours now. Excellent. Uh, go fill. Hmm. Hmm. As they say. I didn't even realize I was getting something special there. Uh alright, I need I need something else. Something flavorful. Perhaps fruity. Hmm.
All right. <clears throat> I believe our next delicious choice here is, uh, as you can see, in perpetuity. Remember, drink responsibly. Mm. Mm. Oh man. Don't get me wrong. I really like the bright. <clears throat> the bright with Nelson is very good, but the uh, quote unquote flagship style beers that they make, um, Julia's Alter Ego, so on and so forth, love those beers. This, I think, is a little more of that style, which uh, definitely looks quite pretty in this glass, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, my gosh. So good. I like Bright. Don't get me wrong. I like Bright. I don't know that I love Bright. Okay, so we're on this waterfall screen. This is probably the last one that I need. <laughs> no, you're not quitting. Nope, bogus Quinna. That was actually kind of hilarious. Quinna, go home. You're drunk. You've been drinking too much, Ar. And guess what we have to do? I think this is the final time. I'm nearly 100% positive. So sorry. Everyone that has suffered through this with me. But we have to muscle through. We have to power through it. Zidane is level 80, ladies and gentlemen. 80 out of 99. <clears throat> right, we're just doing so well. Can't give up. Stop now, right? It's about to climb the rest of the mountain here. Fortunately, we're going to have to deal with a whole bunch of nonsense, though. <sighs> Zanane, go first. Please. Please go first. Close enough. The hell out of here. I'm gonna try and just flee every single time if I can. Because I am really getting sick of this nonsense. Hmm. Damn, homie. In perpetuity is excellent. Really, really excellent. Um, I've had a good bit of the treehouse beers. I love a bunch of them. Um, you know, there are there are some all-time favorites. Haze is one of my all-times. Um, can't not love Julius. I love Triple Julius. Only seen it once, only been able to try it once before. Um, the Brights are all very interesting, and I think they're good. I think Bright with Citra is my favorite. I love Bright with Nelson. Bright with Galaxy is pretty good. Um... There's a lot of good Treehouse beer, but I think Eureka is my favorite. Um, Eureka with Citra in particular, I think, is the number one. Um, they had an excellent beer that was called, like, Pride and Prejudice or something like that. Um, <clears throat> managed to pick some of that up in... Uh, 2018? Uh, yeah, summer of 2018. 
Hmm. But this throws down with some of their best. It's just the right kind of fruitiness. It's not too bitter. Sometimes I feel like Bright, unfortunately, has like a little too much of a malty back end to it. That's why I like Hurricane and Super Typhoon. I have a few cans of Super Typhoon in the fridge behind me. Mm. That is an excellent, excellent brew. Oops, too far. No. There we go. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> I think this is the last time I have to do this. I still can't wrap my head around how you would ever figure this out in a million years as a kid. You'd just never be able to figure it out. Cool. Alright, theater district, here I come. Your drink. Man, is that stuff good? Try not to drink it quickly. It's just like I just keep wanting to re-experience the delicious flavor of it. All right, please. Kidding me? That's not the final one. Oh, there it is. Yes. Protect ring. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, we don't have to do that ever again. Yay! So now we can really just buckle up, finish up the final part of the tail end of this game. Yes. Oh my god, I'm so excited! So there's a few more boss fights, we've got some other cool shit happening. We are... we are in there, as they say. No, no, no. Uh, I have a really bad habit of that. It happens to me in Final Fantasy IV all the time, too. You walk through a doorway and you're accidentally holding the same direction that you you were pressing to get in there, and it's just like, oh, by the way, that's where the way back is. Surprise. And you're just like, are you kidding me? Okay. A couple of quick seconds, I will be right back.
<clears throat> Alright. And we're back. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. I am really, really pleased that I don't have to do this run anymore. From now on, it's all forward progress. is freaking out in the background right now. Nope, not this one. <clears throat> we can save it the later one now. Very exciting. Alright, now there's the wonky eyeball staircase on the next map. We're getting there. I'm telling you, we're we're making progress. It's just it's slow and steady. What does that even do? Oh, a nominal amount of damage, to say the least. Why not? Venom Breath, come on. Don't be like that. Okay. Those uh, Rune Claws are pretty crazy looking. It's almost like an insect beak or something like that. Speaking of which, I need to replay Nightmare Creatures. I think that might be one of the games that I play next. Who doesn't love a good Nightmare Creatures, right? And there's two of them, no less. Good thing everyone has auto regen. It's, it's like auto regen trivializes this game. As soon as you have that and a decent number of levels under your belt, it's just like I think it's a challenge. Not to mention, like I don't know about you, but I definitely ground out a crap load of Grand Dragons. So. Um, Freya's, like, dragon killer ability, or dragon crest ability, whatever the hell that is, is just stupidly good right now. Dead. Bam. Every level Quinna gets is, like, another 250 in terms of damage on the frog drop. <clears throat> I have like 120 something frogs captured, so as soon as she's level 99, I think it's like as soon as she hits like level 80 something, it'll be a, it'll be a guaranteed 999 every single time, which I am very excited about. Super serial, for serial I shite it. of that like map makes it like really difficult 
What is my left hand doing here? Uh, it makes it really difficult to navigate. And that, my friends, is a stuck game. Ugh. Alright, we gotta close that task, unfortunately. Goodbye. It's a good thing we saved. Oh my god. Dude, I'm saying, like... PS1 games would crash all the freaking time. And that is why I was prepared for this situation. Because I am used to that nonsense. <clears throat> I do believe we double saved. Wait a minute. Oh no! Uh -huh. Dude, I was right there. I was right there. I cannot believe that shit. So I basically did the entire return journey. Only, only for the game to glitch out. And then have to do it all over again. Fuck you, Final Fantasy IX. That is some bullshit. It's like fighting this guy is some fucking. Road hog. I don't even know what to say. Except I'm really disappointed. Come on, really? Like legit, I, I am, I'm without words, right? Ugh, Final Fantasy IX. Why do you do this to me? Make you walk all the way. There's still like seven fucking screens until we get back to. Good news is this is the last one though. We just have to get past this and then we just have to save, that's all. I say it like it's really that simple. <laughs> but it might crash again. Uh, please don't crash. Every battle we get is is a risk. you're gonna kill a fucking guy. Like, why? Why even bother? Is all I have to say. Why? Why you do this? <laughs> We're leaving Amaranth's body behind as a sacrifice. Here, eat this! We're... It's fine. Honestly, Amaranth is definitely sort of the biggest... Biggest jerk of the party. This whole time Amaranth has been second guessing Zidane, just fighting everyone in the party for no reason other than being a big old duty head. <laughs> How unexpected. 
didn't see that guy. Right at that, what? I thought, like, regardless of whether they were alive or not. Right? No? Nothing? to save outside Lindblom as well because at this point the return journey is just so obnoxious holy smokes oh, man. sucker to the theater district. family. Still dizzy too. ta -da. Protect ring. Hooray. Alright, this time we're not playing around. As I walk back down the <clears throat> Why am I struggling so much with this? said immediately gonna save once we hit the world map. Nope. Okay. Thirty seconds, sorry. Seal broken.
Oh man. <clears throat> Sunday life. Doing other stuff in the background, you know what I mean? Just had to quickly shut off the crock pot. All that other jazz. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Let us boogie on, reggae woman. As Stevie Wonder would say. <clears throat> that man and his magnificent music. Forty years ago, he was crushing it. Okay. Alright, so that's the last time I have to run all the way back to this map. Let's see if we can get at least to the next save bubble. For God's sake. That's actually harder to keep up with than I imagined. Flee, my pretties, flee! Sorry, that's the water glass. Gotta stay hydrated, you know what I mean? If you're drinking beer, you wanna throw down at least a glass of water between you one. Not more. Hopefully that wasn't, like, outrageously annoying. It's kind of fun. Percussion. Syncopation. Nope. Not stopping at that one anymore. That used to be our main hub. staircase. And then the old spiral infinity sign here. Figure 8. Staircase here. And then this staircase does the weird wall slide thing. That's right. Terra and Gaia are fusing in the background. I don't know why Terra has like a big red, like big red squid eye in the middle of it. Big ol' R2-D2 <clears throat> demon mechanical eye in the middle. Might as well kill this guy, right? We're pretty close to where we're going to save. Oh, yeah. Of all those levels up. Okay. 
Okay. Thank God. We did it. <laughs> we finally made it all the fucking way back. Jeezy crazy. Alright, so for this fight, um, there is a boss fight coming up in the next spot here, which I'm very excited for. Like I said, I've not played this. I'm using a guide to kind of help me along. It's just telling me as I arrive at things... Yeah, everybody's at full health, so I'm pretty much this. Oh, shit. Also... I could fight this guy right now. Synthesis here. Alright. Leave real quick. Okay, hang on a second here. Alright, so let's change everybody's abilities up here real quick. Status in there, it's perfect. Okay, so we've got Zomniac Jelly, Locomotion, and Auto Haste, and Devil Killer, FMP, Auto Life. Throw a little HP in there as well. Definitely want double killer. Samniac jelly chin. Uh chin, double killer on the life. And then spare stones. Leap, leap, leap. Alright. <clears throat> We're doing it. We're fighting him. The Master Synthesis. I'm very excited. I'll even... Start to die! <laughs> so you think, my friend. Dude, that is fucking awesome. heat because then it's gonna miss. Oh it's gonna instantly kill heat. That's super. Oh but I have auto life. Haha Yes. Oh 
reflect. Uh, that doesn't work on most of the things I'm doing, though, right? I don't think it does. Eh? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Need to be stealing. get the, uh, as long as I can get the, uh, Robo Lords. Reflect Ring is not bad. Not what I'm looking for. gonna sting. Auto life is clearly helpful, but just not enough. Come on. Steal that, steal that Robo Lords. Steal it for me. Steal the Robo Lords. Steal it! <coughs> you really want that thing. That's the most important item that he can steal. Rubble Lords. Steal the Rubble Lords. Steal it! Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sword's gonna do a lot of damage, and then everybody's gonna be sad. Oh boy. I have no control over anyone. That seems bad. There's no comment about clear-headed here. This seems like a problem. Yep, when I died, great. This chakra is really going to be useful. Looks like the first time I fight this guy is going to be a fail. Alright, I'm going to try this. God's sakes, please don't kill Quenna. God damn it. Sick auto life. Huh? 
cleave. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hey, what do you think about this? Have another dragon's crest. If this kills him, I will just I'll be tickled pink. Big money, big money. No whammy. Oh, almost but not enough. Oh, he's powering his sword. Absolutely just gonna keep throwing Dragon's Crest at him. I don't even care if I don't get the, the items at this point. I have I already have a couple of rubber lords. Not the worst thing. I just killed him. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Freya is the best character in the game. 30 AP. Wow. Wowie. Boom. Make some really crazy shit at this guy. I don't think I want to make the save the queen. We did it though. We dude it. Cool. Okay. here. Oh, you know why? I was looking at the, uh, yeah. I was looking at the, uh, the stuff you needed for something completely unrelated, frankly. Anyone wear the tin armor? I did make one, didn't I? It looks like a tool. Can anyone equip the tin armor? There's a, there's something going on here. Eh, I don't know. 
Definitely gonna do it. hundred percent. Holy crap. Cool. Okay. And we'll save. shit and uh ladies and gentlemen on that note i am gonna have to call it an eve i'll be back tomorrow the normal stream schedule will pick up moving forward for the rest of this year again sorry about the uh stuff going on before you know life happens okay you stay classy all of the world i'll see you next time yep. i've been saluting a lot i don't know why but yeah. President's Day weekend, we'll, we'll chalk it up to that. Catch you next time.